All right. So he uses the term buried with him in baptism. Buried with him. Verse 7. Because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. So illustration. If I have a servant that comes to my house and works, and on the weekend he dies, okay, should I expect him to show up for work on Monday? No. Why? Why? Okay, thank you. Online, they had me nervous here for a moment. Because he's dead, okay? And when he dies, the relationship that we had was dissolved. Because he's dead, okay? The expectations that I have for him are gone because he's dead. All right? So the relationship and expectations are over. So when it says we are buried with him or uses the term dead to sin, that means through the death of Jesus, the slave master no longer has control over my life. I am no longer a slave because I was buried with him in baptism or buried with him at his death. I died to the mastery of sin and it now it no longer rules over my life. Its rule and reign over me is now gone. Why? Because I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. You don't, you don't, you don't have any control over me anymore. I'm dead. That relationship has been dissolved. Its habits, listen to me, its habits and desires no longer control me. Why? I'm dead. I'm dead. 